Hello everyone, it's Grumpy Gamer. Welcome to a Let's Play of Torchlight 2. Now, first off, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Nexus. It's a game kind of like Unreal Tournament or Quake. It uh, uses the Crisis 2 or Crisis 3 engine or whatever. I'm not sure. It looks really good. It looks about like Unreal Tournament 3. To, that's what it reminds me of. But anyway, if you'd like to win a copy of that, just leave the words gift me in the description. That's G I F T space M E. Gift me. Uh, make sure it's in capital letters. If it's not in capital letters, I will ignore it. And basically, I've done this top contest for. I will go through there and find everybody who left the words gift me in the description. And I will pick a person at random and I will show that selection process in a short video and I'll show who won and everything. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do a new game. I'm going to be playing single player. I like, I prefer single player games most of the time myself. Now we got four classes. We got Ember Mage, they look like a straight caster. Um, and we got Berserker, there's going to be, I guess, straight melee. Engineer. It looks like they use magic weapon and armors, but they look like at the end of the day, it looks like they're probably melee. I'm going to go with Outlander because I like playing ranged characters in games like Titan Quest and uh, Diablo 2. So we're going to go with that. Now, let me go ahead and actually pick or actually you know, select hair and all that uh, go with that, that looks good just gonna name ourselves Grumpy uh, as far as pets, I'm gonna go with the cat and we're just gonna name the cat <laughs> Mr. Kibbles, that's kind of cute, but eh. Roadkill. Oh, he's got a vet backpack on him. That's pretty cool. Alright, we're going to go with normal, and I'm going to leave it off hardcore mode. Yeah, don't want that uh, LP to end abruptly. And we're going to do single player. Alright, welcome to Source Dot 2. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's click on to move around. It's just a. Uh, tips there. Alright, let's go talk to this guy. It's going to be our first quest. As far as the movie goes, honestly, I, I, I don't think it's very good, but the reason I left it out is because uh, with Fraps, it was, the audio was skipping really bad, so I actually hadn't watched it. I didn't think it was fair if I'm going to leave it out. I think this is as far as I can go. You should carry on to the Asterian Enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the Alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. Okay. Basically, it probably looks like it's you like the plot it. of Diablo 2 where I'm just chasing down the evil dude. I like the art style in this game. I love these types of games. Oh, we got a bow already? Hmm, let me decide whether I want to go with that bow or not. Oh wow, we already have weapons with sockets. Requires level 2. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. Looks like it. I'm dual wielding pistols right now, so it doesn't look like they do as good as the pistols. I'm a big fan of these types of games. Never played Diablo 3 though. I played, uh,. Diablo 2, Diablo 1, Diablo 2, and Titan Quest. Now it looks like if I left click, I just uh, kind of spam my weapon attack, but if I right click, I use my magic attack. I've never even played the beta of this game. A lot of people played the beta, but I like—I try to avoid beta whenever possible for the simple reason I want the full experience. I don't want a watered-down experience. Oh, what I mean by that is, is when you play. Uh... This guy's messing me up. When you play beta, you're going to have a lot more bugs and stuff like that. And I just want the best experience possible. 
waited all summer for this game, and they finally announced it's coming out the last day of summer. Wolf down a potion here. Okay. Oh, cool. Leveled up. Okay, let's go ahead and spend our points. Okay, we can put them in strength, dex, focus. Weapon damage. points do I have? Oh, I got five skill points. Well, let's put low levels. I like to put one point in everything. Now, I'm not sure on this. It says on weapon damage. It says all weapon damage, but my experience, well, I want to put it in strength. Strength's usually only from melee characters. I'm not sure. Like, everyone seems to run pretty smooth. I like that. I'll just mention why I haven't played Diablo 3. Well, first of all, it's kind of out of my price range, but I had the money. I'm reluctant to pay $60 for most games. I'm kind of the theory that if nobody was willing to pay $60 for the game, they would lower the price. I'm not the reason games are $60. Bucks, let's put it that way. But I didn't like the art style of Diablo 3, and I know they chose a, a more cartoony style, I believe, at first, and supposedly people complained about the art style, so then they went with what they did, was just like a drab, a lot of drab colors. Oh, that guy was a champion. four points in that and I couldn't tell it made a bit of difference. Hmm. Oh cool we can buy, get back our points. Oh that increased weapon damage and critical critical damage so that looks like good skill. Two points in strength, two points in dex and one in vital one in vitality, that's probably work. Let's see what we have here. I got that mulberry bow. Oh, I can use it now. Physical damage eighteen to twenty six. I'm not really sure if that's the weapon I want to go with. I'm just going to stick with the two guns. I'm not against the idea of using a bow, but it doesn't look that hot. It's not magical or anything like that. Just 
scoring a lot of criticals. You know, also too, I, I play on a, on a laptop. It's kind of nice to play uh, a game that runs pretty smooth, even with traps going. There's a whole lot of people nowadays who don't have thousand dollar computers to play games on. A lot of these games, they go too much for graphics quality and you end up with choppy gameplay. It kind of ruins the experience. Not every game has to be photorealistic. That's just my opinion. Looks like to pick up the money, all I gotta do is walk over it. That's kind of cool. So I'm getting a little bit of armor. What is this? Oh, wow, that's nice. Four electric armor, five poison armor. Well, I like that 12 fire damage, three mana. Not getting much helpful loot yet, but I'll probably go pretty soon. I guess I need to talk to this guy. You a new recruit? You saved my life. I thought those guys had my number for sure. Oh, this was the quest. So, the old weapons, the match locks, they do 18 damage per second. The new weapon here will do 30 fast attack speed. They got that same attack speed. This one does more, a lot more physical damage. And what else? Plus two critical strike chance. We're definitely going to go with that. I just got to equip this thing. Initiate mass lock pistol. Those two look identical so I'll just down to swap one of them out. I'm going to go ahead and stop the first episode right here. This is uh, Grumpy Gamer. I'll see you next episode.